Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing swatches with you from the newest picture polish release. I was sent this collection by my good friend Susan. Thank you very much. It's the only reason I am reviewing the collection for you today. So this is a six piece collection. There is no like theme to it, but it is in collaboration with six different people on Instagram. These are available right now. So in the description box below, I will link the picture polish site as well as their Instagram page. And I will also link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of everything in this collection. This is an Australian based company and I do say this quite a bit because I work with a couple Australian companies. Um, the prices on their website aren't what you're going to pay if you're in the U.S. They do ship worldwide, um, but the price conversion does add up to less than what it lists online. So it is about 10 to $12 a polish as opposed to like the 15 or 16 that they're listed for. Anyway, I do have all six of the new shades and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Blossom and this is a super, super light lilac-y pink um, it's like it's like almost white with a touch of a purpley pink element and then it does have a purple shimmer and then those tiny holographic micro flakies so here's our first coat of blossom this goes on pretty sheer and pretty patchy it does have a good formula though it doesn't want to run or pull or anything like that and per the usual to these flaky formulas from Picture Polish. You do get a ton of those flakies out. So here's our second coat, and I am working in thin coats, but if you went in for thicker coats, this one might be completely opaque for you. I am going to go ahead and do a third coat of this, though, because it is still just a little bit patchy here. I also had no staining with any of these. I've never... Uh, that's not true. Alice stained me, but most Picture Polishes don't stain me, but this does cover completely in three coats for me. And it does dry glossy on its own, though I would recommend a top coat if you want it to last um, any kind of length of time. So there's three coats. Up next we have Embrace, and this is a dusty rose base with those tiny holographic micro flakies. Here's our first coat of Embrace. This covers really well here on this first coat. It does need to be built up with two coats though. Again, a nice formula, easy to use, easy to work with, no running, pooling, staining, anything like that. And once again, you do get a ton of flakies out. So here's our second coat. And this does cover completely in two coats. Again, this one dries glossy for me, but you will want a top coat if you want it to last. I don't have anything else to say. These are all pretty much good formulas. So there's two coats. Up next is Cashmere, and this is a light chocolatey brown with those same tiny holographic micro flakies. Here's our first coat of Cashmere. This one's a little bit sheer here on this first coat. It does have a good formula. It's a little bit thinner than the other two, so if you work in thicker coats, just keep that in mind. I don't think you'll have an issue with running or pulling if you just keep that in mind and be careful with your strokes. So here's our second coat, and for me this does cover completely in two coats. A third coat might deepen that base color just a little bit more. I did just stop at two coats though because I couldn't see my nail line at all. Again, it dries glossy but a nice top coat. So there's two coats. Up next is Florence, and this is like a salmon-y orange shade with those small holographic micro flakies. So here's our first coat of Florence. This is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but it does cover nice and evenly. Again, a nice formula back to the a little bit thicker, not the same as cashmere, but it's not thick by any means. It's just easy to work with. It's no running or pulling. It stays right where you apply it. So here's the second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats for me. Again, this one's going to dry glossy. You will want a top coat if you want it to last, though. And again, you do have a ton of flakies out without having to do anything special to the bottle, any manipulating, holding it upside down, anything like that. So there's two coats. Up next we have Cactus, and this is a almost olive -y green shade um, with those same tiny holographic micro flakies. So here's our first coat of Cactus. 
Again, this is pretty sheer here on this first coat. It is easy to work with though. It's no running, no pulling, no staining, <laughs> nothing like that. It does stay right where you put it. And our second coat, and this covers completely in two coats for me. A lot of these are exactly the same, so I do have a lot to say the same. That second color does bring out more of the green than the yellow, and this one also dries pretty glossy on its own. So there's two coats. And lastly for today we have Heaven, and this is an orchid purple with those holographic micro flakies. Here's our first coat of Heaven. This one is the same formula as cashmere where it's a little bit thinner, but it is easy to work with. I didn't have any running or pulling, but I did have to work in thinner coats to avoid that. Here's our second coat, and this does cover pretty much completely opaque for me in two coats. I did do three for my swatch photo, so depending on your application, this is somewhere between a two and three coater. Again, this one dries glossy on its own, though a top coat for longevity, so there's two coats. So there are a lot of goodies here. Um, my favorites would include Cactus because this is just a shade that I'm drawn towards. I love the olives, the hunters, the forests, like every shade of green is my shade. So um, Cactus is obviously one that I lean towards. I also really, really like Embrace. This is one that I wanted for quite a while. This is in collaboration with Betta Stander Sanders, who like I really thoroughly enjoy watching uh, her videos so she made a beautiful beautiful shade this is one that I also really love and then Florence also is so stunning for the summer I I really 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 love this one so those would be my top picks of the collection though I also <laughs> I also really like cashmere I like I like them all but Blossom was a little bit finicky on the formula which is not something I'm used to from picture polish and then Heaven just isn't a color that I wear regularly but I love Picture Polish's flaky formula. These are little tiny holographic micro flakies, and they are absolutely my favorite thing from them. So they all kind of called to me in that way. It's just these are the four that I would lean towards most. These are the three that I like the best out of all six. And then Cactus is my all-time favorite. So those are my top picks. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up or if you've already picked them up. Let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.